fun story, you know, like I said, you know, when you got friends, then, you know, you got more people ready to rat you out, no matter how good of a family you got, or how pretty of a girl you got who ain't a snitch, it just all depends on your friends, you know, you got friends as rats, all kind of shit happen, you know, the way I see it, I have no friends, especially on jobs, you know, one motherfucker tried to talk to me on my last job, total Satan character. weakness against me and get me fired off that job and I, you know I I just thought about it you know I'd be like well you know you can't you can't be mad at a rat a snitch or a hater because that's the way they was grew up that's the way they was raised they only was raised my way that's why you know I'm not shocked that you know some of them still on bicycles and some of them still live with their mommies and shit and some of them I just ask kissers and they're just fucked up, you know what I mean? I just don't know how they choose to live with themselves and how they do that, but they do, you know what I mean? And it's just something that I'm not up for, it's something, you know, that I wasn't built for. Like, I don't just didn't raise me like that, you see what I'm saying? And like I said, man, it's been like that, and, and you know, Years went by, you know, I went to jail, like I said, got out, you know, I got my disability. And when I got my disability, what the fuck is I gotta stop right here for, man? Holy motherfuckers. So when I got my disability, you know, I just start hustling it all together, you know, getting away from motherfuckers like that. You know, they got haters out here, man. I try to stay in my own lane, man. We got these haters out here, but like I said, man, the reborn shit, the strong school and shit like this, knowing how to keep our distance from haters, being reborn, you know, so we all knew everything I did for my $25,000, I'm gonna do all again next month. And not even having $25,000 again. But I'm going to still be able to do it because I got faith in God. That's all. Because when we grew up, we had to grow up like this. You know what I mean? We got Donald Trump now as our president. Everybody seemed to hate Donald Trump. You know, for lots of reasons. But one main reason is because he's rich. It's because he's rich and they poor or just want to know how he get it and now they just you know they couldn't imagine hating on a big guy like Trump but now they get to do it and it's amazing to see how many haters out there I know Trump see the haters I know he don't like them but sometimes in life we're gonna hear a lot of negativity and you know a bunch of drama and, and everybody want to point the finger but nobody want to point the finger at them so and you want to hear somebody doing good, but you don't want to hear that somebody's doing better than you. You know, when I'm working on my jobs and shit, it's always like that. You see what I'm saying? You want to you wanna hear about somebody getting a car, but you mad because you still riding on your bicycle. You want to hate because a girl looks real good on the job, nice and sad, and she ain't got nowhere to stay, and she looking for a daddy. You want to get mad because you can't afford to put her in a hotel and I can afford to put her woo, into a house. So you want to get mad and you want to try to do everything in your power to stop things like that. And you just can't because God give us these type of things on earth to be that way. You know, you want to be fake about money. You know what I mean? Like I said, I had this girl... And I roll up blunts now and pass the blunts to them. Now, I love weed like a motherfucker, but I have to pass them that because when Fahrenheit say in the beat, only thing I'm concerned about is my 15 beats. And I do my song. By the time I knock five out, you still on your first blunt. You see what I'm saying? But it's never like that with a hater. Because a hater don't give a fuck how much, you know what I mean, how much money you talking. A hater's a hater. You see what I'm saying? They worry about getting them and then after they get them, they don't give a fuck about nothing else. You know, that's why they in that fucking predicament. They probably on drugs. You know what I mean? They done burned so many bridges, nobody fucks with them anymore because they fake. 
And then you gotta sit down and wonder why am I so fake? Well, let me pick up the phone and do something else fake. Let me call this guy, tell this guy this, and tell this guy that. Just doing fake shit. And it doesn't get them anywhere. It doesn't get them anywhere being fake. Hey, the water over there? Water. So it doesn't get them anywhere being fake. So all I'm saying now is, if you're gonna be fake, then just keep your distance. You know, I talk. I, I had a talk, you know, with my daughter. You know, what I mean, to be honest with you, me and her was talking, and she was like, "Well, yo, daddy, you know what's going on with your female friends?" I said, "You know everything, I'm right." And I said, "Well, let's see. You know, you came and pick up like two thousand dollars when I had twenty-five thousand. You see what I'm saying? You probably pick up more than that, but I wasn't really paying no attention. But all anything I'm asking you, little C, is if so, if I, you sure I'm saying, fall off, then I would hope." That you got my back. Oh, daddy, I got your back. You know what I mean? She's like 21, 22, so, you know, she's grown. You see what I'm saying? But that's not how my family raised me. Because if I go borrow something, you know, it's only right, you see what I'm saying, to pay back. You see what I'm saying? Because if I ain't never had 25000 then and if I bought a check for 10000 you know, I, I must have blew, you know, Ten thousand in the street somehow. I don't know. I know I paid up probation and all kind of shit for three thousand. And you know the math just keep clicking. But my daughter said something like, "Well, why should we have to pay back? Because we family." But I had to tell her, you know, you want to grow up real. You see what I'm saying? You can't just say because you know it's okay to get two thousand dollars from your daddy, maybe three thousand. But if you go to somebody else, you know what I mean? You just can't borrow that kind of money and just don't give anything back. You see what I'm saying? But me and my daughter cool, so we let that ride like that because I'm still at work and I'm just getting my money all over again. Fuck it. But, you know what I mean? I try to raise her to the point where she already know that God is alive. She's not one that say Jesus died for her sins. She's not one that say, you know, her God did. She's not that type of person. She always say, no, my God alive. I'm on my daddy's side with this and this and that. And so, you know, she just real like that. So, you know, I, I just want to end it like that. You know, they're doing the little concrete thing. We all out here doing this all concrete, man. And that's where the money at. You know what I mean? Those guys make way more. That, that dude right there says so he made like $38 in a supervisor. $38 an hour putting down that spray of concrete right there. Water. Man, that's all I want to say because the Reborn movie, man, that's just what it's the system, that's just what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Nothing about, it's all about standing up for what you believe in, you know? Being real to you, not being real to fake motherfuckers out there. You see what I'm saying? And then, you know, like I said, you know, the girl, you know, my home girl and shit, you know, I know her since 2000, I think 11 or some shit. You know, probably before 11. Knew her, let's just go way back. We, I knew her from 2008, Miss Barney. And, you know, it's me, you know, like I said, Fahrenheit sent her to beat on her phone. She looked at the beat.